Hey, good morning. Welcome to Resource Prepping. I'm your host, Greg. <clears throat> yeah, I know there's a lot of videos today. Sorry for out of breath. Been working on the driveway, trying to get it. So, in case we have to uh, evacuate, it's not a solid sheet of ice. So, I've been putting down chimney ash over the icy spot so we can evacuate if we have to. All right, so just remember, I did a video on that earlier. Don't have enough salt, no kitty litter. Using the next best thing, chimney ash, to gain traction and help melt the ice before the temperature drops here in Ohio to below zero in the next couple days. So, always thinking about preparedness. The reason I'm thinking that is the boob in chief is meeting with mad Vlad about Ukraine. Nothing has changed. Nothing is changed. Nothing is going to change on our side because we are now putting more troops around Russia, be, uh, bulking up the flanks in Poland, Slovakia, which they don't want us there, Denmark, Norway, Finland. Finland is another one that is saying, hey, uh, can we have your troops? And of course, we're doing it on our dime. We are not being paid for this. They are saying, yeah, you can be in our country for free. Well, thank you so much. We are risking our boys' lives to defend you for free. How white of you? You know, that's just really nice. You should be paying us because we are mercenaries. All right, so anyway... Biden is supposed to meet with Putin and he's just laughing, saying we've had these conversations all the way back to 2012, 2014. I already got your number. Why don't you just talk and make a fool of yourself even more? We are going into Ukraine. England has ordered all their political staff out of the country, all their civilians out of the country. The United States once again has told everybody to get out of the country, including including ambassadors and likewise. And that's usually the last straw before bad things start happening. That's one of the things that before any war starts, they say, hey, get your uh, diplomats out of there. We would hate to cause an international incident. How sarcastic and how ridiculous that is. But that's what's going on. India, India, has taken a no vote in the United Nations, you know, didn't vote against the, the Russian aggression. And why is that? India is supposed to be sort of allied with the United States. No, nope, they're not siding with anybody. Why? Because they're getting stuff from us, ammunition and uh, weaponry, but they're also buying weaponry and fuel from Russia. So they don't want to tick off Russia. Macron came out and said, hey, we don't want to fight the United States war. That's why the Allies are not sending any troops or doing anything with us. We don't know why you want to have a war with Russia, but don't involve us. I said that before. I'll say it again. And this will escalate. You mark my words. It's going to escalate big time. And with the trucker convoy, people are sick of this. Yeah, yeah. I can definitely see this escalating into something civil unrest, worldwide unrest. Yeah, it's going to escalate big time. So if I were you, I would just really focus on getting food, supplies that you need, medicine, supplies that you need, clothing, and all that kind of stuff. Never mind all the new shiny objects. Forget all that crap. You're going to need to eat. You're going to need to watch your back. You're going to need to watch your neighbor's back. So just my advice. Another quick message. It's been a busy day. I'm working. Greg out.